From Gothic cathedrals abandoned in the grip of ancient plagues to ultra-modern skyscrapers perilously overrun with squatters, mankind's skylines are dotted with bizarre unfinished structures. Why is that? And are we likely to see even more unfinished buildings in the future? Join us as we down tools to ask exactly what happens to unfinished buildings. The world's tallest unfinished building revels in the TripAdvisor unfriendly nickname Hotel of Doom. The Rug Yong in downtown Pyongyang is a hotel, technically. They started building it in 1987, but when the Soviet Union collapsed in 1992, the North Korean economy was ruined and the hotel project stalled, never to fully recover. 105 stories tall and over a thousand feet high, the gigantic Pyramid Hotel was originally supposed to host five revolving restaurants and as many as 7,665 guest rooms. However, poor quality construction has reportedly led to crooked elevator shafts in the troubled structure. In 2008, things started looking up for the Rugyong, when its sinister concrete frame was glazed to at least look more presentable. In 2009, a giant fireworks display launched from the building marked North Korean May Day. And in 2018, Kim Jong-il installed LEDs all the way up one colossal face of the structure. These days, that colossal screen mostly plays propaganda clips, and you still can't stay there. Another notoriously unfinished building is the Centro Finale. Financiero con Finanzas in Venezuela, also known as the Tower of David. Financed by wealthy investor David Brillenberg, who died of cancer in 1993, the 45-story building was two-thirds complete when a 1994 banking crisis shut down its construction. Worse was yet to come. A crippling housing crisis in the mid-noughties saw countless Venezuelans struggling for shelter, with 400,000 fewer homes on the market than the population needed. Those folks had to go somewhere, so in October 2007, some 200 homeless Venezuelan families families occupied the hulking, unfinished shell of the Tower of David. The building had no electricity, elevators or running water. But over the course of seven years, the Tower of David's resourceful inhabitants installed their own basic utilities, including power and water. Many set up businesses, barbershops, beauty salons, bodegas and even an unlicensed dentist surgery. In 2014, the squatters, who were living as high up as the 28th floor then, were evicted by the government and moved to new housing in Kua, south of Caracas. Today, the Tower of David stands empty. Unfinished structures are frequently abandoned after sudden changes of local government. Cincinnati was supposed to have an entire subway system, and it was almost completely built until the powers that be in the 1920s decided instead to invest in roads. Today, the subway is a magnet for urban explorers. In Nazi Germany, Deutsches Stadion, designed by the Third Reich's chief architect Albert Speer, would have sat 405,000 spectators had Hitler not been booted out of office in 1945. Today, it's an overgrown landfill, with a lake so poisoned by hydrogen sulfide that some 45 hapless bathers have so far drowned there. Pandemics can leave buildings unfinished too. Siena Cathedral is still incomplete after a nasty bout of the bubonic plague ravaged the Italian city in 1348. Today, whole cities like Luan in eastern China remain half-built. A forest of unfinished skyscrapers, not to mention an abandoned $9 billion Disneyland-style theme park, they're testament to an overheated housing market and over-optimistic growth forecasts. Some unfinished structures are just costly, embarrassing failures, like the abandoned nuclear power plant at Marble Hill in Indiana. Two and a half billion dollars were sunk into Marble Hill until construction was cancelled in 1984 following fierce local opposition and the fallout from the Three Mile Island partial meltdown. Some unfinished buildings become familiar features of the landscape, like Unity Tower, better known as Skeletor by locals, the angular high-rise wreck that loomed over Krakow for over 30 years before finally being finished in 2018. Sometimes unfinished buildings are merely works in progress, like the Sagrada Familia in Barcelona, which has been under construction for 139 years. That's a baby by church standards. The cathedral in Cologne took 632 years to build. Sometimes buildings are left unfinished on purpose. If you've ever seen a half-finished home or office block in the countryside of a developing nation, there's a chance people actually occupy the ground floor and are exploiting local tax breaks for their ongoing construction program. Whatever the reason buildings remain unfinished, it's well known they decay quicker without human occupants repairing leaks and maintaining a roughly consistent temperature. Temperature. What's the future for unfinished buildings? Young architect Lian Ji Wu has proposed a bold solution to the urban affordable housing crisis. Under her vision, called Beyond the Shell, Wu wants builders to sell apartments that are left unfinished by design. Buyers would snap up the basic dwelling in a newly built block just without any plaster or carpets. Then, in their own time, they'd finish the project themselves. In Wu's words, this would take advantage of residents' labor to cut down the construction cost as a way to lower the price. What do you think? Are unfinished buildings a solution hiding in plain sight? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more semi-erect tech content.